This Jimmy Tallinn special is brought to you and supported by Saltire Energy, the global market leader in specialist drilling equipment rental. And also by Craig International, who recently sponsored brand new kit bags for West End FC, an Aberdeen-based boys and girls football club. The kids who ages range from anything from 6 to 19 were absolutely thrilled with their new bags and no doubt will put them to good use on match days. Aberdeen have their man. This is what he had to say about joining the club earlier today. I am very honoured to be the new manager and to be coming to this great club and city. I can promise the fans we will be striving to build and develop a team that captures the hearts of the supporters and delivers success on the pitch. The feeling I have about what I have seen at the club, the staff and the facilities was all very impressive. Hi everybody, how are you doing? Oh, hang on a second, what's going on with the camera? There we go, we're sorted. Hi, how are you doing? A very warm welcome to Ali Beg ABTV this Tuesday night. So, at long last, 77 days after Barry Robson was sacked, Jimmy Tallinn becomes the Don's 25th permanent manager. He has signed a three-year contract and according to reports in Sweden, he will join the club on the third of June. He's going to be bringing his two assistant managers and absolutely delighted to see that Peter Levin will become an assistant first team coach. So he will remain at the club and he will continue to see out his current situation as the interim manager until the end of the season. So many congratulations to Peter. Absolutely delighted for him. So this is a live reaction show. So what we're looking for tonight is for your reaction. Quite simple. All you have to do is just leave your comments underneath the box. And as we go along tonight, I'll just read them out. And uh, as normal on the shows, we don't have a time limit, so we can do as little or as long as we want. Um, but get involved. Let us know what you think. He's just recently given a, um, a, about a nine-minute interview to Malcolm Panton on Red TV, um, which goes on. It's on Red TV now if you're a subscriber to that. Um, if you're not, the full interview will be on the Football Club's own YouTube channel from 8 o'clock UK time. But just to sort of paraphrase a couple of things, I just picked out a couple of points. He said that he's very excited and it's a great honour to become the new manager of Aberdeen. Um, he felt it was the perfect match and the timing was also perfect of it all. In terms of his style of play and management, he said, I have an attacking philosophy, very intense, very di direct but I do like to defend as a block. Um, in terms of why he's not coming in until the 3rd of June, he basically said that he wanted to show a level of respect to Elfsberg and he wanted to leave them on the right terms, which I think is, is absolutely the right thing to do. And fair play to him for doing that. Now, I think that just goes to show the, the level... Um, of respect that we're getting as a manager. Um, so absolute fair play to him. So from a personal point of view, I'm absolutely delighted that he's here. Um, I think f fair play to the board because it did take time. There was a lot of going back and forward with Elfsburg because obviously they wanted to keep their man. Um, so let's give credit where credit is due. And I'm so pleased that they thought out of the box because that was my biggest worry that they were just going to go around this Scottish Premiership merry-go-round, which I don't think would have done us any good whatsoever. So I'm absolutely thrilled that we've got somebody like Jimmy T. Lean in who might just bring something completely different to us. And to be honest, I think that's what we need. Um, I'm also very much in favour of the way he does his player recruitment and um, how he likes to drive it and how he very much wants to play a huge part in it which I also think will be very healthy for us going forward. Um, he very much likes to work with his director of football. So I guess the next thing for now, um, for us, is let's find out who the new technical director will be. So, yep, here we go. Jimmy Tallinn is in. Um, the chairman obviously had his say about it as well. This is what he had to say. 
Um, the extensive protests we ran allowed us to speak with several excellent candidates from both the UK and abroad. As the process evolved, we were determined to land Jimmy and were prepared to be patient. Elfsberg certainly didn't make it easy for us, which tells you how highly they think of his six-year tenure. He went on to say, the board felt that Jimmy's style and playing philosophy, his ability to continually develop excellent players within a successful player trading model, and his experience at taking a team and having them compete at the top end of the table all really match the criteria we had set out from the start. So let's just give you a couple of stats on him. So he's 46 years old. He began his coaching career back in 2005. Um, he moved to Young Coppings, where he won promotion to the top flight with that club for the first time in 46 years. When he joined Elfsburg in 2018, he finished 12th and 8th in his first two seasons. He was runners-up to Malmo in his third season. And last season, narrowly missed out again to Malmo on the championship due to goal difference on the very last day of the season. So, he comes with a lot of credibility, comes with a lot of credentials. And just reading between the lines... Everybody thinks this is an excellent appointment. So so get your comments in. Keep them coming in um, as we go along. Let's also not forget, just very quickly, that the split fixtures came in today. So let's just remind you. So we begin at home against Motherwell a week on Saturday. We then play another home game against St. Johnston on the 4th of May. Then we have our first away game against Hibs at Easter Road on the 12th. Then we have a midweek game at home against Livingston, which will be our final home game of the season. 1945 kickoff there. And we finish our campaign against Ross County up in Dingwall on Sunday, the 19th of May, kickoff at three o'clock. So I fully expected us to have two home games and three away games. So I was pleasantly surprised to see um, that we now obviously have three home games and two away, which I think will do us huge favours. Um, because let's not forget, you know, we, we need to keep an eye on what's going on sort of over our shoulders. But I think a couple of wins at home and we should be absolutely safe. And then we can really start um, the process of what will be a new era at the football club. So it's terribly exciting. I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. I really am. And uh, yeah, let's just see where we go from here. Right. Let's open it up to you and let's see how you're doing. Oh, lots of you on tonight. Okay. Oh, hang on a second. Right, so let me pause the video first of all, because that otherwise will be a distraction. Let me take that all the way to the top. Right, there we are. Uh, Mark Gordon has quite simply asked me if I'm happy. Very happy, mate. Very, very happy. Couldn't be happier, to be honest. Uh, Graham Barron is here. Hi, Graham. He says, evening, Ali and fellow dandies. At last, the news we've all been waiting for. Let's get behind him and give him time so we can all to lean towards him. Glad we didn't go for the usual suspects. This is going to be key now. So, three-year contract. Um, and he's going to absolutely need time to implement his style of play. I think it's safe to say that we're all expecting a fairly major overhaul of the playing squad. So, he's going to be working very hard, I guess, over the summer to bring in his own players. Um, to hopefully complement the ones that are already with us. Um, that he will earmark to keep at the club. So, look, it's going to take time. It will take time. And we, as a support, need to afford him the time. So, yeah, let's get right behind him. Um, Graham Barron came back and said, Abba Dean. <laughs> Hope he's bought his IKEA instructions on how to build a team. Oh, Graham. Seriously, dude. <laughs> Barry Cool is on. Hi, Barry. Uh, evening, fellow dandies. Great news about Jimmy. Graham Gibber said, great news he's coming, but can someone explain why he's not starting until June the 1st? So, Graham, the, the reason is quite simple is because he wanted to show Elfsberg a level of respect and he, he basically wanted to finish off there and finish on the right terms, which I think is quite admirable. Uh, Nicola Beaton is here. Hi, Nicola. Hi, everyone. I've just watched his interview on Red TV. I'm excited to see what he'll bring to the club. We need to get behind him now and show our support. 
the musical box is on and saying, hey guys. So Barry Cool has said, by all accounts, he will be in before June. Yeah, well, let's wait and see, because that game that they've got against Gothenburg, which the chairman of Ellsberg came out and actually said in their own press conference, that that will be his final game. That game's on the 1st of June. Um, so the, the 3rd of June, that date came from the press conference in Sweden from Ellsberg to announce what will be their new manager to take over from Jimmy Tulane. Uh, Kenwell Metal Detectives, it says, fit like dandies. Gordon Keith Ritchie said, good evening, good appointment. Hopefully the Red Army get behind the management team and we all give him time. Uh, the musical box said, thought it said June the 1st on the club's website. So it did, it did. Um, what I'm going on is by what the chairman of Elfsburg said in his press conference. So he basically said the 3rd of June. Just... I've got it here. Hang on. Bear with me. Just let me get it up. Let me get it up. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. So he said... Um, so basically, the paragraph says, Now the next adventure in Aberdeen awaits not only Jimmy, but also assistant coaches Krista Pearson and Amir Bajrami. Jimmy leaves Elfsburg on June the 3rd. His last game as Ellsberg manager will be the away meeting with IFK Gothenburg on June the 1st when we say goodbye to him properly. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's get back to your comments. Uh, Scott W said, lovely to finally get it over the line and an announcement made. The club deserve huge credit for this move. Let's now all just get behind Jimmy and row the boys on to success. Kimwell came back and said, at last, progress. Fraser Gunn is here. Hi, Fraser. How are you, fella? Great to get it over the line, but would still prefer him as soon as possible. Feel excited by this appointment. His gig and press approach fills me with positivity. Sweet times ahead. Oh, dear. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a long night, aren't we? <laughs> uh, Scott W came back to say, rest assured though, he'll no doubt already be up to speed on what needs to be done over the summer. He doesn't have to be here to know that or start making plans. Yeah, I'm with you with that, Scott. Uh, Graham Clark is here. Hi, Graham. Good evening, Dandies. Hope you're all well. Very pleased with this appointment and that this managerial search saga has come to an end. I'm that excited I could burst into song. Uh, Luminous Reality. Good evening. How are you doing? Um, they say a very good evening from South Walden, Suffolk. Fit like Loon. Doing just fine. Excellent work with the show. Thank you, mate. Uh, let's get behind Jimmy when he comes in. Come on, you Reds. Gigi has said, I'm so excited by Bo coming to Aberdeen. Not had this excitement since Dave since David Cooper's free kick in the 87 Skull Cup final. I am delighted, really. Am I and the only way is up, up, up. Okay. Uh, Kenny McDonald has said, absolutely fantastic appointment by Aberdeen. Let's give him and the staff the time that they need. Come on, you Reds. Paul C. Ricky said, one word, delighted. El Fidelo, hi, how you doing? Evening, dandies. Great to have the deal confirmed at last. Hopefully, Jimmy will be in to start his revolution before June. Just hope the fans give him the time to get us up and running. Kevin Means says, quite simply, oh, Jimmy, Jimmy. Sager Satin Ladder says, the Jimmy, Dave's last chance saloon, Talene, is here. Uh, the time before starting appointment is bizarre, but what else do we expect? Sugarlander says, well, I did say I'd believe it when I saw it. Now I've seen it. I believe it. <laughs> Stuart Malcolm is here. How you doing, fella? Alan Burrows and Jimmy Tallinn both gave excellent interviews on Red TV. Worth a watch. I'm really looking forward to next season. Stand free. Gareth Mackey said, be interested to see who he keeps and gets rid of in the summer. At least finally we have a new permanent manager and always good to have a Jimmy in the dugout. 
uh, uh, Danielle Nero Jaffrey, who's a Hearts fan, has come on to say the Aberdeen Hearts battle will be back for Thud. Crucial period to try and finish Thud for seasons in a row, but it will be us. Uh, Kaiser is on. How you doing, Kaiser? It's been a wee while, fella. Jimmy Tallinn's Barmy Army, he says. The Mad Ferret said, a fantastic Tuesday. Welcome aboard, Jimmy. <laughs> Alan Georgia says, can we still get the Neil Lennon episode? <laughs> Pedro73 says, good evening. A lot of happy dandies tonight. Aren't we just? Uh, Boo Boo1903 says, patience, patience, patience. Please give the guy a chance. Even if things are poor again next season, he will need time. Kenny Salvin has said, great stuff. Let the dons fly. Uh, Elfie Dello has said good to hear that Peter will be staying with the club yeah I'm really pleased about that Chris Clark is on hi Chris finally the manager saga is at an end really hope this is not the case but imagine his first game in charge is the relegation playoff in June god I hope not <laughs> I think we'll be alright uh, David Swinton has said a very exciting appointment let's hope from the board through to all the fans we demonstrate patience to allow the time to make this appointment work Michael Keenan has said, quite simply, wish he was arriving this week. Yeah, I got to admit, I, I'm, I'm also, I was also kind of hoping that was going to happen. Um, but look, it is what it is. Uh, Scott Farquhar has said, absolute delighted that he's finally here. However, if this is f failure, uh, Dave Cormack and Stephen Gunn will have to be gone. P.S. Is he coming flat packed? Hey, Barry Cole came back to say rebuilding starts now. Hopefully he has a few targets in mind. And please, 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 no loans. Billy Johnson says, great news, Ali, and great for Peter Levin to remain involved. Uh, Turtle Tree and Tud said, great news. Yes, he needs time, but we do need to see improvement throughout. Yeah, we do. Kaiser said, if only we got him in last season, hindsight is a great thing. Andrew is here to say, delighted and excited by this appointment, ready to be patient, but cautiously optimistic too. Billy Johnson is asking, what about Craig Sampson and his iPad? <laughs> John Grant. Hi, John. Those tickets are on the way. Um, congratulations again, John. If you, did, if you missed the show last night, John, who is one of my members on ABTV, um, between myself and my sponsors, uh, Craig International, um, Craig International very kindly provided four tickets for me to give away to the Scottish Cup semi-final on Saturday. And we did a bit of a spin the wheel last night for all the members as a means to say thank you for their commitment to the channel. And John won four tickets. So they're on their way, fella. They are on their way. Um, he says, thank goodness for this appointment. It will be interesting to see if he can assess the players we have. George Barber said, has to be the best news since Ross County thrashed the Rangers on Sunday. <laughs> Gary Robertson said, hopefully no hoofball anymore and hopefully he gets time to put a team together. Nick Anderson has wished everyone a good evening. He's got to say well done to the club for holding out for the right appointment. Any of the names that were mentioned could have been disastrous in Jimmy We Trust. Uh, Chris Clark has said, genuine question. If, and it's a big if, somehow we end up relegated but he does put in brackets, which I don't think will happen, but there's always a possibility. Will he still take the job or can he back out? Well, we don't know. Um, but I like I gotta be honest, even though there's there's gonna be some nervousness about us, I think we'll be absolutely fine. Two home wins, that'll do us. Uh Neil709 said, Good evening, Ali, and all you dandies. Hopefully players uh can now get on. Um Kenny Salvin says, can't wait until he gets started. Kaiser said, I'm gutted we never went for Neil Lennon with a big, smiley, laughing emoji. Yeah, right. Uh, the Mad Ferret says, that speaks volumes about Talene's integrity. I agree. Neil Strachan said, good evening, Ali. I'm very excited about Jimmy Talene being our new manager and I'm looking forward to our team Aberdeen being successful again next season. Mon the Dons. Barry Cooler said, are you in for the technical director job, Ali? Given half a chance, fella. Given half a chance. 
Uh, Rob Nidri. Hi, Rob. Great that we've got our man. Hope he gets the backing to build his own team from the board. Time to get behind the new boss. Stand free. Right. There are lots more comments, which I will get to. Just want to show you one more thing that I had about Jimmy. There we go. Let me chuck that in. Okay, if you were with me last week when we spoke about Jimmy when he was first, you know, the, it, there was a lot of talk about him coming. Uh, you may have seen this already. If you haven't, then I hope this helps. So these are his strengths. So he prefers to play a 4-2-3-1 when pressing, but can switch to a 4-4-2 mid-block when not in possession. He very much, as I mentioned before, likes to drive the player recruitment strategy, and he's able to recognise quickly when teams park the bus by retaining possession around the opposition penalty box. So those quotes came from a, what was a really interesting interview from Ryan Cryle, who's one of the sports editors at the Press and Journal. And he interviewed a prominent Swedish journalist about Jimmy Tallinn and about his playing philosophy and just him as a man and a coach, um, his man management style, all that sort of stuff. So that Full interview currently sits on the p and website. It's well worth having a look at it. Okay, let's get back to your comments. Erica Mitchell has wished everyone a good evening. Great news that we now have our new manager. Hope everything works out well for him. And next season is an exciting one. Stand free. Craft Don Campbell is here. How he conducts himself reminds me of Steve Clark. The media will hate him, but he'll be strong and calm as an influence in the club and think players will love him. Do you know, you make an interesting point because I've also read somewhere that he doesn't give very much away in press conferences and that he's not exactly going to be a media darling, let's put it that, and that his press conferences could actually be quite dull, um, which, to be honest with you, I don't really have an issue with. Um, I know, obviously, we're always looking out for quotes and you know, to take lines for something for us to discuss and, you know, how important editorial lines are and all that sort of stuff. But to be honest with you, I don't have an issue with that at all. Um, the musical boxer said, I'm pleased we've got him, but my optimism is tinged with caution as I have been through this too many times over the past three years. Yeah, I get that. Barry Cooler said, young, hungry and proven. And he also says, hopefully this lifts the players for Saturday. Graham Klein has said, glad to see it done and dusted. Wonder if Michael Stewart and the other BBC pundits are raging. <laughs> Hopefully he has a list of what he wants. Don't want that to drag on to the last minute. Mm. Sugarland, in terms of the fixtures, has said, these fixtures have been kind to us. I agree with that. I'm absolutely thrilled. I've got to be honest. Barry came back to say, uh, it's all to do with each team having the same amount of home and away games. Yeah. Jim's here. Jim Balfour. How you doing, Jim? He's wished everybody a good evening. Really hope that this is the start of something good. But we've been here so often in the past couple of decades that I think I'm getting enthusiasm fatigue. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, Airman, can you tell me something about the other coaches? Oh, God. I can. I can. Ah, oh, no. Somebody sent me. Oh, God. Who was it? Somebody sent me a message where they actually broke down. Oh, I don't know where it is. Oh, I don't know where it is. Damn. If I find it, if I can remember who it was that sent me that message, um, or even if you're watching and you sent me that message, um, let me know. A, the boy Amir, I know he's a former Sweden international. Um, and the other lad, person, he played for Elfsburg. So, so yeah, if, if, I, if I can remember, I'll try and bring that to you. A Malcolm Park. Malcolm, you're an absolute superstar. Malcolm has just signed up to the ABTV membership scheme. Malcolm, thank you so much. Just very quickly, the membership scheme is where you make a very small financial contribution to the channel, and it just helps me build it. Um, and we've got some, hopefully, some very exciting news coming in the next few days um, where the investment that has come from you guys is going to be very much put to good use. And what I'm really hoping is 
I'll make the announcement soon, but it, I, I'm going to give something back, um, which I will explain later uh, once we make the announcement. So I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful we're going to get it over the line very, very soon. But your contributions has made that happen. So Malcolm, thank you. Thank you very much. We're over 50 members now, you know, paid up members. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, Don Aberdeen FC. Hi, Don. Glad it's not one of the usual suspects. He needs to be given time, though. El Fidelo came back to say, makes a change getting three home games after the split. Gavin Wilson's here. Hi, Gavin. Looking forward to Jimmy Tallin and his team in charge. It feels like we've got a manager, a manager who's at a decent age and seems to come with a full package regarding his ideals and philosophy. Sugarlander says, I'll be interested to see the pool of players to Lee knows that maybe we don't, that we could get. Yeah, uh, so there's quite a lot of you have come on and said you're, you're all a little bit disappointed about the timing of when he comes in um, because hopefully, you know, we wanted him to do that assessment of the squad. But I think, I think a... You know, he's going to get plenty of information from Peter Levin. Um, I have no doubts that he's going to watch every single game. Um, you know, that goes without saying. He's going to watch every single game. Um, and he'll get reports. He, he, he will do his due diligence. Jim Balfour came on. Jim, it's a shocker. <laughs> Does he play a flat pack back four? <laughs> <laughs> Kaiser 1903 said I thought Goodwin was the right man he wasn't I thought Barry Robson was the right man he wasn't so I think Talene is the wrong man <laughs> very good Kaiser hey, Alexander Waller said game on, Al uh, game on Ali let's hope this gives Peter a boost and the players respond with a win on Saturday um See you, Jimmy. Better be as good as everybody thinks you are. David Gold's here. Hi, David. Finally, let's get behind the new man. We'll take some time to build a good squad. Duncan Shan says, brilliant appointment, but has to be given the opportunity to develop the squad and the style for the team. I agree. A lot of you are saying about how good it is that he's bringing in his own backroom staff as well and that he's retaining the services of Peter Levin. Mark Howison is here. Hi, Mark. How are you? Um, he says, good evening, Ali and fellow dandies. Let's get behind him and his team. We need to give them time to make a difference and let's hope it's a positive one. Mad Ferret has said, oh, what a feeling now we've got to lean in. Paul Matthewson has said, very happy. Was hoping we'd go down the European route for a change and he won't be scared of the ugly sisters. I hope he embraces it. That's what I really hope. Um, I'm like you. I'm very much like you. Don't don't show any fear. Embrace it. Embrace the challenge. You do that, you never know. Didn't Fergie once do that? David Quantrill has said, Evening. Glad the club is trying something different to the usual suspects that do the rounds. Looks like if he's given time and resources, he will be a good manager for us. Graham Gibb is asking, it is reported that Ellsberg replacement manager has said goodbye to his squad. Does it not suit all parties to bring it forward from the 3rd of June? Yeah, I, I, mate, yeah I've got to be honest with you. I, I would much prefer it. Uh, Jim Ross has said, hi, Ali. Glad it's done and dusted. We go on from here, but let's get behind the team for the rest of the season. Oh, bless you, Nicola. Thank you. She said, remember the like button, Nicola Beaton. Ali's been working bloody hard for us recently. I haven't. I really haven't. Listen, trust me. I enjoy it just as much as you do. This is not hard work. This is bloody marvellous. That is what this is. Uh, Kaiser said, let's hope to lean back to the whole new squad. Wolf Coggle, I think that is. Wolf Coggle. He was my first choice. Well done, mate. Uh, Roy Thompson has said, prefer he's taking a back seat. McInnes, Goodwin and Glass came in with a 6-10 to 10 games to go and didn't feel it helped with momentum. The players better buck up if they want to stay with Jimmy watching. Alan Smart said, let's hope this gives a big boost in terms of season ticket sales. Murray Cocker, fella, how are you? 
an old school chum of mine. Um, finally got the man that it looks like we've been after for a good while now. For my side, I'm happy. He needs serious backing now and perhaps more importantly, time. As others have said, it will be interesting to see who he keeps. Come on, you Reds, he says. Good to hear from you, fella. And Neil Shepard has said, I hope the fans are open-minded and realise how a big build this is going to be, a rebuild this is going to be. We need a huge overall and it's not going to happen in one window. No, you're quite right. Uh, Keith Lambert has said, to, uh, to lean fine about this appointment. Barry Cooler says, get joined up, folks. You can join via the computer or laptop in terms of the membership. Thank you, Barry. I appreciate that. Barry also recently signed up. Um, Duncan Shine says, congratulations to John for the tickets. Uh, Ian Thompson has said, it appears that we have got our first choice. Got to give him time. Uh, Steve Vang, I think that is. Steve Vang. Was holding off on the season ticket, but we'll be going for it. Hope a lot more do the same. Good for you. Sorry, I'm just literally reading out your comments just to check, make sure everything's okay. This is good. David Gold says, press conferences don't need to be fireworks. We had enough of that in 33 days of Neil Warnock, didn't we just? Chris Clark has said, I would rather he was dull and never blethered rubbish like our previous manager who never got over the hacking game for about six months. <laughs> Pedro73 has asked, what happens if Peter wins the cup? Ah, I've got it. Peter, yeah, yeah, I've got it. Okay. And we're in the group stages for next season. We might lose Peter. I don't think so. I don't think we will, mate. I don't think we will. I think he's got a plan for his career. I really do. And I think he's on an upward trajectory at the moment. And I think, I think he's doing it the right way in his career path. That's what I think. And to be honest, if I was advising him and who the hell am I to do such a thing, but I would, what 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 he's just done and what he's going to be doing going forward is absolutely the right path to take in the next steps of his career. Sugarland has said, someone posted on the chat sites, we've lost three of 15 against the bottom six this season. Ooh. Malcolm Parker said, read the other day that he doesn't like his players to do too much talking in the press stamped it out at previous club that would be a bad thing as our players often talk a good game <laughs> I really enjoy how much you guys interact with each other it's absolutely brilliant and honestly you know I've, I've been saying it from day one since we started doing this um, you know that I that I almost pleaded with you to be kind and friendly and amicable with each other and respectful and you 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 absolutely are you know I've said time and time again and I'll continue to bang the drum we want this place to be a safe haven for fans to come to have their say without having to worry about muppets um, you know everybody as far as I'm concerned is entitled to their opinion um, so thank you I, I, I love it I love what you do uh, Cozy Bearder says, hi Ali, keep up the good work. Well done, Dons, great news. Welcome, Jimmy. Okay, David Gold, excellent, David, good work. So in terms of his, his backroom staff, so Christa Persson, he's 44, um, had a playing career as a centre-back, holds a UEFA A licence, played in Norway as well as in Sweden. Top man, David, thank you. A Barry Cooler said, had a look through the Swedish top league and they very much like a player from the African continent. Um, David came back to give us some more information on Amir Bajrami, 36 years old. He was also assistant manager. Um, he played as a right winger, sometimes on the left. He played 18 times for Sweden, scoring two goals. Stephen Robertson has said, as I understand, guys, the timing of the move is not just down to the clubs. The German consultants are also in bed with the other guy going to Ellsberg, so not wanting to rock the boat and upset both parties. Yeah, I did read that somewhere, mate. Thanks, Stephen. 
Uh, Neil Reed has said, lots of positive vibes tonight, Ali. Well done for hosting the views of the fans. Mate, it's what we're here for. It's an absolute pleasure. No need to thank me. A, a David Gold came back with a little bit more information on Amir, uh, our new assistant manager. He played for Ellsberg early in his career and again at the end of his playing career. He also had spells with FC Twente in the Dutch Eredivisie, Monaco and Panathinaikos in Greece. And he'd been the assistant manager Ellsberg since January 2020. He'd previously been the coach of the under-21s and 19s. I think I remember Amir Bajrami. Uh, Kaiser's just come on and said that he was a fair player. I, 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 I'm convinced I can remember him playing for Sweden. <laughs> Graham Buchan has said, the treble is incoming for season 25-26, and that doesn't include the Aberdeenshire Shield. Sandra McPherson is asking, very simply, who's your dues? <laughs> Uh, Lewis has said, hopefully the Boroughs interview can put an end to the rumour that we sign players without the manager's approval. Fred McKenzie, you have also signed up to the ABTV membership. Fred, thank you so much. Please get in touch with me so that I can say hello. Um, you're an absolute star. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, Stuart, forgot. Uh, Callum Benz has said, I haven't checked out the Ellsberg players yet, are there any standout talents that he could potentially bring along with him? <laughs> Alan Smart has said, wonder whether Jimmy will look at entering a team in the Highland League, as at present we have no route to give fringe and players coming back from injury getting competitive game time. Do you know, that for me, that was the issue when they got rid of the Reserve League. You know, what on earth were they thinking when they got rid of the Reserve League? Honestly, one of the worst decisions ever. Neil Strachan has said, Ali, there is a strong link between our club and the famous Aberdeen in Sweden and I'm really excited about Jimmy Tillin and our team. Uh, we'll be super troopers and dress for success next season. <laughs> Greg Ruff has said, do we think we will have the meatballs for the job? <laughs> David Gold, we have a superstar. Hey, let's have a wee look. I think we've got all the information out there now, mate. Hey, David Gold, there we go. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, so it was uh, it was David Gold who sent the, the, that that message to me about the about the information. David, thank you so much. You're an absolute superstar. I really appreciate that. Um, Stuart Cleary said, hope he can keep Bojan around next season. The musical box said, back in the 70s, I used to watch the reserves every second week. Hey, right, guys, that is, that's us. Um, you know, we've done nearly 40 minutes. Um, thank you so much for coming on. I really hope you've enjoyed the show tonight um, as much as I have. It's been absolutely brilliant once again. Um, and thank you to those that continue to sign up to the membership scheme. Um, it's very, very humbling. It's very flattering. Um, and honestly, it, it just helps me build. You have no idea. Um, if you enjoyed tonight's show, do us a wee favour. Press that old like button. And if you're watching for the first time and you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe as well. The subscription to the channel doesn't cost anything. All you've got to do is press a wee button and then you just get alerts for when we do shows. So, nothing tomorrow night. A gym time tomorrow. But I am planning a, a show on Thursday night. So the plan is to start building up to Saturday's semi-final. So we'll come back on Thursday and we'll do a show on Thursday and we'll just sort of, you know, react to everything that's going on because no doubt there's going to be more bits and pieces coming out from the football club over the next sort of 24 to 48 hours. So we'll react to all of that. So I'll see you again on Thursday. Take very good care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Stand free. <laughs>